When I was a child growing up in North Carolina in the 60s, I witnessed mostly on our black and white television a tumultuous decade defined by counterculture protests and the civil rights movement, as well as 1960s fashion, music, and hairstyles. Unfortunately, I wasn't old enough to participate. By the time I was in junior high, the 60s had ended. I was thoroughly disappointed. However, I was still disposed to live in a way that was different from the way most people lived. As a side note, I'm a four on the Enneagram, and we fours maintain our identity by seeing ourselves as fundamentally different from others. I am still inclined to not go along with the crowd, follow the herd. The prevailing herd mentality in our culture is that joy and happiness come from getting more, a better job, more job security, more stuff, another degree or credential, pretty much more of everything. It's the message we've been receiving all our lives. You are not enough. You need something else. You need more. Joy is all about getting, right? No, of course not. Social isolation, working from home, and watching our 401ks dissolve before our eyes is pretty scary stuff. And we experience a loss of empathy every time our attention is siphoned off by our fears and our screens. On the other hand, practicing compassion and generosity, which is clearly stated in our motto, Pro Humanitate, is both life-affirming and life-changing. It's pure joy, it's healing and liberating, and it leads to a greater sense of connection in our COVID-19 world. Who in your circle of friends is struggling right now? Text, phone, email, video chat with them. Don't forget about your people. Make sure they feel less alone and let them know you care. Listen them into health. You're hardwired for compassion and generosity. It's in your DNA. Release it, set it free, and see what happens. And in the days ahead, may each inhalation bring you peace and each exhalation dispel your fears.